I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. He's just walking. I think you're Okay, let's go. So cats are solitary, and about a week or so ago, we had um, the species survival plan gave us the permission from Ramil, this three-year-old youngster male, to meet the 12 year old female. Oh, wow. So she probably wouldn't be in season until the winter in, in um, the Himalayans where they live. That's when they mate. But they're cats and they have to get used to each other. So they have been going into each other's territory and scratch marking where they pick stump pads and they've been urinating and all that kind of stuff. So I think he's like, you're really smart because if Anna doesn't want you, she'll tell you. Hmm. So I'm not sure if he knows she's a female or just she's another child. <laughs> so oh when they've God. been in each other's territory, it's, I mean, has the one who's there been in there? Or they, okay. So last night I saw um, she was on her tree and he starts to come across and she did the snow leopard version of a hiss, basically. And he got the message and went away. He's young. Okay, he's gonna spray probably. <laughs> uh, don't stand under the bridge yeah. because it will dribble. Yeah. We need a splash zone sign here too. We need a rain zone. Yeah, yeah really. So I have a question. These things, is that to let you know where to close the rock? Yeah, that, uh -huh. yeah. yeah, it's kind of cool. So that, they, last night they didn't do it till late. It was after dark. So if he pees, it will dribble through, folks. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I have no idea why they have um, just both ends and not all the way through, <laughs> which would be my choice. <laughs> because then you just stand here and not come Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so he's probably peeing, folks. I wouldn't stand underneath him if I were you. <laughs> or put the baby stroller. Literally. Literally. <laughs> yeah, usually I wear a hat. <laughs> so. Is this the first time they were ever like together? I didn't hear it last week or so. A lot. Yeah. I don't think that they they've been together. Right. Well, they couldn't have been because. No. I thought that they had said they've been together before, but when they said the future survival plan gave permission, it's like, oh well, yeah, they can't ever come together until the SST gives permission. Oh yeah. They probably. I mean, I don't. So she's an estrus right now? No, she's not. She's not. So she oh, will be probably. So they're just getting used to each other. Oh, look at her clothes right. getting the smell in her. Oh, like, you are so pretty. Oh, they are, are not used to each other. Nice. They're never together. This is like new for them to be together. She doesn't want him to come over the morning. Right. And this is younger. I don't realize. He's like, okay, I'm leaving. Yeah. So, she would go into season in the wintertime, but with cats, they have to get comfortable. Obviously, they have to get comfortable. Okay, he's like, I'm cool. It's okay. I she's a heat. You got all that on video. Yeah. And this is why the keepers will probably have the Adrian. They're probably back to listening right now. <laughs> Here he's coming this territory, look. <laughs> this probably smells of urine. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh -huh. it's, all about, <laughs> it's all about scent. But you said she's not ready. No, she wouldn't go into the season until um, this winter. So you want to get him familiar, and he's getting experienced. <laughs> He's all upset. He's embarrassed. So he's like, what? So
He's gonna go try again. <laughs> so they do introductions between you. What does it mean when they're pacing? Uh, it's such a recording. Yeah, you look kind of tasty. Actually, he's 100 pounds. He's like, he's like, I'll never catch you. Um, so it must be that so there's no one, it's so much worse than you. Their dynamics. Could it be that even though they don't get along? Yeah. 